first thing I'm going to talk about is how to use a comb filter or two to quickly make an accordion sound with almost any wavetable. Over here, we got the original accordion patch. Great. And on the right, we have good old shitty initialized. So I'm just going to pick a random wavetable here, uh, grown three. Let's see how that works. And if you throw the spectrum down, until it sounds kind of like an organ. That's all you need to get a good accordion sound. I throw the comb filter on with damping and feedback all the way up. And that's like 90% of the sound. Um, by throwing feedback on, reverb, and a little bit of a chorus, um, you're going to get closer to this. But I mean, that was just a random wavetable, and that worked out great. So that's number one. So the second thing on the list is trying to extend the attack phase of your standard envelopes here in Massive. And that way you can actually turn um, your normal patch into a riser. And that's what I did here. Uh, let me bring this over here. So this is the riser that you hear in the beginning of this track slash video. so on and so forth. So if I turn this macro off, this is what the patch normally sounds like, just one long note. So to make that work out, to make that happen, um, I'm gonna use our basic accordion over here that we got going. Sounds so good. So then what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna attach this envelope to the pitch up two octaves. And since we have, uh, we're mainly just using a comb filter, I'm going to attach it to this pitch as well, should you give you the same effect. So if you have a low attack, it gets through that all very quickly. Even a relatively high attack isn't going to give you long enough of a build for a riser. So even all the way up, it'll only give you like uh, four, five bars max. So what you do to extend this is you bring the, uh, the attack level to about halfway and set the decay all the way up with linear on so that it's just a big ass line from zero, from square one, all the way to the top. So it's gonna take, instead of just the attack phase amount of time, it's gonna take the decay phase as well. So 24 semitones and all the way up on this pitch knob is gonna take uh, twice as long. So on and so forth. So that's the risers that I used at the beginning of this and it's often how I'll attach macros um, to make a riser macro in just about any patch. Now the third thing I wanted to bring up for this patch was how you can situationally make what would normally be a shitty decision and kind of make it work. So I have the pitch cut off here. It's, I mean, it's off. And even when it's turned on, it's completely off here. As I move it to the right, it starts to sound pretty terrible. But in this context, being that it's an accordion, that's kind of a thing is hearing not only a regular accordion sound, but the kind of mangled, out of tune, shitty accordion. So that's what I set this first macro to, was rather than attaching it to, you know, 15 different parameters, just one and using it in a way that you normally wouldn't. This guy over here is usually set to one. That's its standard. So when you start to attach this macro, or when you start to move this macro up, it just sounds like a detuned synth. So when I put this all the way up initially, it started to have that broken sound that made me try out, you know, pushing this to, you know, four, something I've literally never done for pitch cutoff. So at four, you get this pretty sweet dissonant sound that sounds like kind of a haunting uh, accordion. And, you know, I don't know if I'm ever going to specifically use this. 
but I now have the option to, and rather than attaching this to amp or, wait for it, wavetable position, very standard, super easy. Um, now it's an actual different mode of this sound, a different version of it, that is actually pretty useful and contextually fits with the whole accordion thing. So those are the three things I wanted to talk about with this patch, just because I'm not down with the whole, here's the knob, and point it this way. I'm just going to give you a few ideas that you can quickly attach to your own version. You can download this version, the... Oh, that sucks. There we go. You can download this version. It's, uh, it's on my Facebook page. There's a link in the description. And I'm going to keep putting these out every once or twice a week. So, till next time.